Welcome back to another cult horror movie review. In all of horror movie history, one of the most controversial and daring motion pictures to ever come out was Cannibal Holocaust. At first glance, it may look like another cheap Italian cannibal movie that was made during the cannibal boom of the 1980s, but if you want to watch a film from that subgenre, Cannibal Holocaust is the one to see. Not only because it garnered a good amount of controversy surrounding its release, but also because it's actually alright and isn't a complete pile of trash. But just before we get going, if there's a cult horror movie you'd like me to review, just leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to never miss out on another bad movie review every Friday and cult horror movie review every Tuesday. There's a documentary crew that travels to the Amazon jungle to meet a local tribe of cannibals in this specific area called the Green Inferno. In fact, that's when I realized that Eli Roth named his 2013 modern homage to cannibal films after this fictional place. But wanting to find the tribe of cannibals, the filmmakers never make it back home. Gee, I wonder what could have ever happened to them. So an anthropology professor goes out looking, but all he can find is the footage that the crew shot while they were on their adventure. He brings it back to New York to analyze it and try to understand what happened to these people. Cannibal Holocaust is not great, but it's got a mesmerizing power. It's not for the faint of heart. This really feels like a true horror movie. There are a few reasons for that. The main one is the very, very realistic and authentic look. You really feel like what you're watching is real. And this gets me to my second point, which is the graphic violence. There isn't gore splattering all over the place, but it does have its fair share of brutal and shocking violence. There are several animals that are killed throughout this, and all of those executions were totally real as well as those brief clips of people being shot in Africa and in East Asia, which makes this all the more demented and one heck of a terrifying ride to hell. There's a big sense of unease that settles into you when you're watching this. It was shot on location in the Colombian jungle, and it made use of real native tribes that participated in this production, which is really amazing in my opinion, and once again makes this movie feel so real. A lot of people give credit to The Blair Witch Project for being the very first found footage horror movie, but I think that Cannibal Holocaust predates that film by almost a decade. This is the very first found footage horror film, even though only around half of it is shot that way. In fact, the idea of the movie looking too real backfired on the whole crew, because soon after it's released, it was seized by the courts and people were actually convinced that what they had seen was a snuff film. The actors who took part in this production had signed a contract to go into hiding for a year to make it seem as if they had actually died in that rainforest. The Italian director Ruggero Deodato was actually put on trial for murder. He had to bring out one of the actors from hiding to prove to the courts that this was all just a movie. What kind of a crazy story is that? And apart from all the brutal violence and explicit sex scenes, Cannibal Holocaust also has surprisingly terrific music, especially the opening theme song and beautiful tropical landscapes to admire. That is, if you can stomach the rest of what it has to offer. But it's a bold film that dared to do what others never even thought of, and for its shock value and memorable scenes, I really praise it. So would I recommend this one on a bottom note? Yes, I would, but be prepared, because you're in for one heck of a horror ride.